Well, for all of you stargazers out there, the moon will likely be looking a lot different as we head into tonight. Meteorologist Sarah Flynn live for us this evening telling us the best spot that uh, we can take in this upcoming lunar eclipse, Sarah. We'll definitely have a good shot of seeing it here in West Michigan, across West Michigan, actually. You'll definitely want to get away from some of those city lights, though, potentially a bit more of a rural area if you want to catch the best glimpse of this. If you're not sure what we're talking about, take a look. A total lunar eclipse happening tonight. This happens when Earth passes in between the sun and the moon and basically the Earth casts a shadow on the moon which is why it's going to give a little bit of a red glow out there. So a very cool phenomenon to see and something that doesn't happen super often here especially lining up with the potential of having some clear sky. So what can you expect? This is happening overnight in the early morning hours on Friday. 2.26 is when that totality will begin. Peak totality just before 3 a.m. and then it comes to a conclusion just after 3.30 in the morning. Do you need glasses? No, that's the good news. Last year when we were talking about the total solar eclipse, you certainly had to have the right type of glasses to view it. That's not going to be the case there. Again, you're going to look at the moon giving a little bit of a red look. So talking about the frequency of these events, they occur about every two and a half years or so. The last lunar eclipse that we had here in West Michigan was November 8th of 2022. We actually had decent viewing for that one as well. A little bit more cloud cover than we'll likely see tonight though. And then the next one we'll talk about will come on March 3rd, 2026. So you'll have to wait a little bit of time if you want to catch a glimpse of this. So what can you expect tonight? I know you have to get up in the early morning hours. We will have some high cloud cover in our vicinity, but again, mostly clear as far as viewing that moon. We will start to see, of course, a chance for some showers and thunderstorms roll through as we head throughout the day on Friday, particularly in those overnight hours where we could even have some strong to severe storms as we roll into early Saturday morning. Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca will have more on that here coming up in just a bit. For now, we're live outside the Wood TV 8 studio. I'll send it back to you.